Uh, well, I think they're hugely aligned. So, I mean, the, the first one is the Cloud Essentials um, add-on. You know, I talked a little bit about it at, um, uh, at this press event we just did, but um, it's really about very uh, being a very easy activation for anybody who's in the partner network at the subscriber level or, or above. You know, so hundreds of thousands of partners can now very easily add on the Cloud Essentials Pack, and it's a it's an incredibly rich set of uh, of components inside that. You know, it's got training, it's got some of these business enablement uh, components, it's got some sales enablement components, it's got internal use rights, um, it's got access to some of these um, uh, uh, these other tools, the portal that we were talking about. So. Um, I think it's fantastic. You know, again, as somebody who is fairly new into this, and I walk in and I look, you know, I'm going to be very, I'm going to err towards sim simplicity, okay? And I'm, I'm uh, very much the kind of guy, if I look at something and it doesn't make sense to me, I will, I will assume that it's not going to make sense to a partner pretty quickly. And I look at what we're doing there, and if I was, you know, I put my partner's shoes on and said, boy, if I was in that space, that would really feel like something that I wanted to get right now. I'd say broadly, the Microsoft Partner Network exists to be the, the, the sort of the yin to the Microsoft yang. Um, we, we have to exist together. It has to be a symbiotic relationship. And you know, since 95% plus of our revenue goes through the channel, um, as we go into this new transition, this cloud transition that we're on, um, we've got to figure out how to bring the partners along with us. And so, you know, you're saying, what's um, what's my philosophy? Uh, you know, it's it's we've got to enable the partners. We've got to be able to bring them with us. We've got to give them the tools. Uh, and the programs to enable them to be successful. I think uh, I think we can all sort of look and say BPOS um, probably isn't the most attractive brand. Uh, you know, particularly as we push into small business with it. You know, it's um, uh, we did some funny. Uh, you know, my old job was doing the, the marketing for the U.S. And we did some funny, we were doing these ads of, you know, BPOS online, you know, online banners. And I said, just just put some out there to just say, cheap business email from Microsoft, <laughs> right? And run them, instead of what you're running, just do this. And I just want to see what happens, right? And they, they what was interesting is they pulled better, but they, I thought they were going to be like 3x better. And they, they pulled a bit better. It's like a 20% uplift or something. But it didn't, it didn't blow it away the way I thought it was going to. Um, but that said, you know, clearly as we expand out, uh, I, I think having a, uh, a branding that is more, uh, better connotes what the thing actually is. You know, if you walk up to, forget my mother, let's say um, uh, I have a friend who uh, runs a small rental car business on Nantucket. And if you walked up to him and said, you know, do you want business productivity online? You're like, I don't, I don't know. Um, you know, but if you said, "Look, do you want an online, you know, an online suite of business, uh, business solution?" Um, and then we've got a, you know, and a branding to go with that. So, so we are, long answer, but we are exploring things in that area. Uh, but there's nothing I can tell you about today. We've been very upfront with folks. You know, the people who we think would be most. Concerned if they had concern would be somebody like you know Best Buy who's a great great partner of ours, and um, we've been very upfront with them about about what we're doing and why we're doing it. Um, you know, so in terms of whether we're going to put one in Toronto, uh, we can have someone get back to you guys on that. I mean, I think we're not trying to do it. To, you know, if we were trying to go head to head with them, our plan would be to create thousands of them. Get in this, you know. Are we going to put them? You know, interesting. I know. I know one of them is quite near an Apple store. You know, so you get in these scenarios with like you know, sort of the Burger King and McDonald's, or <laughs> um, I, you know, sometimes they do better when they're close to each other. Or um, uh, the fascinating thing on, to me on Starbucks is there. You know, you go into cities and there's corners where there are three of them on four corners. 
yeah. right across from each other. And you're like, how could this possibly be a good thing? And yet, apparently, when they do it, they get more revenue per store. So, <laughs> um, well, I'm not a retail guy, you know. So, um, you know, I, uh, I I've done a bunch of work with Best Buy. Uh, we've we they've been a fantastic partner. You know, Best Buy, um, Staples, um, Office Depot. You know, in terms of moving uh, machines with Windows and selling a lot of Office, particularly in a small business, and I've been I've been pretty involved in those campaigns. Um, but I think this is a different space. This is more consumer retail 